the parallelism between the Copernican revolution and the cancer revolution are so close. So for 1,800 years, astronomers thought the Earth was the center of the solar system. Um, and, and the problem was trying to uh, predict movement of the planets. The stars were, caught, were thought to be in a second sphere. Um, the Earth was immovable, and the sun, the moon, and all the planets revolved around the immovable Earth. But, but it became clear in the mathematical formulations that they could never accurately predict where these planets would go. So they introduced epicycles after epicycles and deference where planets would move in one and then switch and go in the other direction. And equants trying to, trying to account for the, the angle of, the, of how the, the, the sun revolved around the earth. All of these were put together in, in a confused way for 1800 years until Copernicus thought maybe we should put the sun in the center of the, uh, of the, of the solar system and have, have the Earth just become another planet revolving around the sun. It made all, made all the mathematics, everything made complete sense and predictability became uh, clear with Kepler and, and Galileo with the telescope, all, all pushing the same new evidence, which led to an, an explosion in, in scientific revolution. It's called the Copernican revolution. So all other aspects of, of science started to expand tremendously after that. And once we realize that cancer will be, is really a mitochondrial metabolic disease, there'll be an explosion in how to manage cancer effectively using non-toxic therapies. And there'll uh, be an explosion in how to manage all these different chronic diseases because they all have a kind of a, a linkage to mitochondrial metabolism.